Good evening. Thank you so much for being here tonight. My name is Corinne Ormson, and I am the Fine and Performing Arts Specialist for the district, and I'm just so happy to be here with you tonight. The last time we had this event was in 2019. We usually have it every fall, and we had one scheduled for this fall, but we had to cancel it again because of, of audience regulations. We wouldn't have been able to gather with this many people here in our audience or even up here like this. So we canceled it again, hoping that we'd be able to have it now, and we're just, again, so happy to be here uh, and have you here with us celebrating choir and celebrating the joy it brings to our students and to all of us. So behind me we have our elementary students. We have six elementaries here tonight. We also have Weist Middle School and Mountain View High School. This is really an, uh, an event to celebrate the growth that you see throughout the school system. So you'll get to see from fourth grade all the way to seniors in high school. So we're just really excited to show that progression. I want to say a quick thank you to all the parents that make this possible. We couldn't do it without you, uh, and, and many more. You know, all of, it really takes a village and um, our school system, our administrators, our teachers, um, and our parents, but I just um, really want to say a thank you to our parents because you got them here for concert tonight, but you also took them to all the rehearsals. You also supported them and doing that, getting up early or staying late to make that happen. So thank you for your hard work to make it possible for your students. I was here at our rehearsal this morning and it was just, it was so great to watch the schools come together, which maybe, you know, each school learned things a little differently and watch them listen to each other and adjust. And it really, um, it really made me think about the teamwork and the collaboration that comes from uh, joining together in song. And, so, you know, talking about how music makes us smarter, we've all seen the studies of, you know, better test scores and getting into college and all of the benefits that come with uh, when, you, when you participate in music, but also thinking about those intangible things such as teamwork, collaboration, and the family aspect that uh, we have when we all join together. So, I think... We must have another uh, student coming in. So we have lots of waving, wild waving. <clears throat> I'm going to introduce, we have a special guest tonight from the school board who's going to, who has just a few words for us tonight. So I'm going to introduce Rob Perkins uh, to, um, to give us, I don't know, his wisdom for the night. Thank, thank you, Corinne. I don't know if I have a lot of wisdom, but I do have a lot of enthusiasm for uh, the privilege of being here in this space where I attended high school and graduated in 1987. And if you'll indulge me for a minute, if you attended high school at Mountain View, can I see a show of hands? Who are our graduates? Wonderful. Mine was 1987. It was like year six, and some of these senior gifts are kind of familiar looking to me, so that's how long the school's been around. And I'm excited about the new facility that the school uh, is gonna get to move into next year. Um, and ex nostalgic too, because I remember this place so fondly, yeah. Um, music was a deep and abiding part of my experience at Evergreen Schools growing up. The schools that I went to are represented here, Marion and Y East. Is this Y East? Yeah. Or, uh, Wolverines now. Good name change. Uh, and then Mountain View, graduating and then moving on. And throughout, from the fifth grade on until I graduated, I was involved in music. I was able to participate in uh, the middle school bands, the elementary school bands, um, and the high school band and choir. I was a TA for the jazz band, so that was my happy thought. That was the thing that actually kept me coming uh, and helped me to meet the expectations. And everything, I can just ratify everything that uh, uh, Corinne was saying about what it is. It's community and it helps with academics and the whole list, right? Well, 
We're here to celebrate that tonight with an event that is not possible without the support of this community. With the support of this community, especially through uh, the levy taxes that we pay locally, uh, we can have this. And uh, we can make this experience, as well as sports and clubs and uh, assistance for kids who have greater needs than average, uh, so that they can also have the excellent education and experience that I did and you did. Um, you may know that uh, that enrichment levy is up for a vote, and that the ballots have to be turned in by Tuesday the 26th, which is five days from now. I encourage you, uh, if you haven't thought about it, to consider casting your vote uh, by next Tuesday. Um, if the levy passes, we will be able to support the richness of these programs and uh, be able to keep things going. Without it, uh, there's some serious risk that uh, children and students won't have nearly the opportunities. We, we plan on preserving as much as possible in a moment like that, but it won't be as rich as it is now. And so I encourage you to uh, take a look at evergreenps.org and uh, go to the levy webpage there, see what's being asked, and ask questions. I'll be, I'll be around after the show if you have any and want to come talk. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. And now I'm going to introduce our MC for the evening, Emily Lofgren. You guys all feeling good this evening? All right, we're going to have a fantastic concert. Um, I'd like to welcome you here, here tonight for our festival. First festival that we've had in almost two and a half years. It's so nice to see all the smiling faces, all the excited folks being here and everybody working together to bring this concert to you today. Before we begin, I want to introduce our amazing choir directors, and I want them, please stand up after I call your name. Um, from Ellsworth, we have Sandy Wagner. <laughs> from Riverview, we have um, Adrian Burgess. From Columbia Valley, we have Fauna Wolf. From Crestline, we have Happiness Ye and Amanda Dickinson. From Fisher's Landy, we have Lily Kiyokawa. <laughs> Yay! And for Marion, we have Allison McPherson. And myself, Emily Lofgren. Glad to be here. We also have from the middle school, um, Garnet Hayes. And from Mountain View High School, we have Jenny Bell. To start off the evening with our elementary combined choir performing Catch the Rhythm by Teresa Jennings, um, directed by, I forgot to write that down, Sandy and Lily.
Amazing job. Great job, you guys. Maybe another round of applause. You're pretty awesome. Um, while Weiss is getting ready, oops, looks like they're ready, but I want to take a quick minute to uh, recognize some people for coming today, our principals, our teachers, our other staff mem members. If you're here today supporting our singers, would you stand up and give us a wave? Yay. <laughs> Okay, um, so next up is Y East Choir under the direction of Garnet Hayes and her accompanist is Janae Smith. They'll be performing. Oh, I'm gonna let you introduce. Good evening, everyone. Um, yes, um, my name is Garnet Hayes and our lovely accompanist Janae Smith is joining us this evening. I don't know if you can see her, but she's over there. So please join me in giving her a warm welcome. We are going to continue this wonderful celebration of music with an appropriate song that will hopefully match the spirit of what you just heard. This is Celebrate Music by Joseph M. Martin. And then after this first piece, we're going to go directly into our second piece, which is called The Violet by Mark Patterson. Oh! 
suit as well, but this one's probably just going to be a lot more obvious that we love it. So this is a piece called Plenty Good Room. Um, and people in the piece tell you where that Plenty Good Room is located. But it also highlights five of our um, YU students. So you will hear them in either duets or solo. So our first duet is going to feature Destiny and Daniel. Our second duet is going to feature Elle and also Savannah. And then you will hear our soloist, Jaden. And so they'll come up in various um, installments. So this is Plenty Good Room by Greg Gilpin. Amazing solos, beautiful job. Uh, next up is, um, lost my place. We're gonna be singing, I Am the Earth. Um, <laughs> Allison McPherson and myself will be conducting. I am the river. 
right. Next up is Mountain View High School Choral Concert, uh, sorry, Concert Choir, under the direction of Jenny Bell, and her accompanist is Andrea Lafette. Lafay.
Thank you, everybody. It's sure great to have everyone here in this place again. We're so honored to sing with your children, and I would like to show you guys how many of these people remember sitting over there in the Coral Festival. Would you please raise your hand if you remember sitting over there? And they would watch the choir, and they could not wait so they could get here and they could sing and make that beautiful music. And I hope that you guys are inspired enough that you want to continue your choral music experience. This next song that we're singing tonight, I just want to tell you a little bit about it. It's called Stomp Out the Fire. It's um, an entirely human work using only the sounds of the voice and percussive sounds. And it's in three sections. The first section is a mournful quality. It's an impassioned wail, a cry for humanity. The second section starts out with a weary struggle against human injustice, and it grows and grows in layers and becomes quite frenetic. But after a transition, the third section appears, and it's in a major key. And in this section, it's meant to represent the beautiful diversity of humanity and the strength present when that diversity comes together in unity, which is a metaphor for what a choral choir is. The metaphorical fire is extinguished by the whole group of them, and you will hear the fire as it's being extinguished, so listen for it. <coughs>
our next piece. Uh, it's called Music Alone Shall Live, and it's arranged by Paul Jennings. Our elementary choir will be joined by Weiss Middle School and Matthew Concert Choir. This is conducted by Jenny Bell, Garnet Hayes, Fauna Wolf, and Andrea Adrian Burgess. We have a solo celloist, and I hope I say it right, Torus Torusu? Torusu. Uh, she will be playing cello. Thanks. Good evening. Um, I'm Adrian Burgess, and I would like to call attention to the second page on the inside. You might have noticed a little paragraph there that I put in. We would love for you to join us on this song. There is no better opportunity to be a performer to enjoy tonight's event. So just so you're clear how it would look, we will all sing the song the first time through. All the choirs plus our audience. Then the elementary will sing a solo. Then the secondary will sing a solo. And then we will have some fabulous, wonderful high school students coming down to the front to direct you for when you will enter. Because the last two times through, we are going to do it in a round. So watch your directors at the end. But the first time through, we are all going to sing together. Please join us. And again, we are so happy to be here this evening. Uh, we can't tell you how excited we are. Thank you again. Please sing. <laughs> 